what's up guys welcome back to another video um, in this video I'm gonna show you how you can connect to Wi-Fi networks using Alpine live media this is me connected to my Alpine live media Alpine Linux it's a quite lightweight distro it's good for some purposes you may consider using it especially if you want to have a fast Linux distro to do some stuff it's good so for uh, embedded systems to be clear for the wireless you need to have the extended media there are two or three types of Alpine Linux you need to have the extended one to be able to install some packages that exist only in the extended media I have chosen that one and prepared my bootable media so the first command is not install but apk add so the first command will be uh, apk add wireless tools as well as wpa supplicant this is the command if you can see it well yes enter install it I said you need the extended one because those packages exist only when you have the extended media if it's not extended you will not be able to install and they will not exist this these ones are installed from <coughs> maybe the media from the media itself and or the ISO that we have use it for the live media otherwise we are not connected to the internet so the next one is to check what is our interface usually it's WLAN 0 the next command is IP link set uh, WLAN 0 up if you focus very well here it's not up it means it's not running not running but I don't know how to say it it's there is there are states for network interfaces up means accepts the connections if I'm not mistaken and the other states does not do not allow it to accept connections so this command will set it up we check it again and then we can see that it's already up now we clear let me clear the screen and then the next command is uh, WPA passphrase passphrase and then your uh, routers your routers network name here and then your password you put it here and then you send the output to slash etc slash wpa supplicant slash wpa supplicant dot conf all right i'm not gonna execute this command like this i just told you the arguments you need to execute it with your own uh, routers name it has it should be something and the password whenever you if you want to know this one usually when you are trying to connect to it using a graphical user interface it will uh, you will choose it there that name bring it here and put it here afterwards when you want to log in or when you want to connect to that router you put your password next after you choose the name the password you put it here in this case in our case here you put them in this command i will put mine and then i will come back to you i want to keep it secret and i'm sorry for that all right now it's time to check our configuration i told you i did put my uh wi-fi SSID, I guess it's called like that with the password to my wpsapplicant.conf. You're supposed to do that. Otherwise, this command, if you try to run it, won't work for you. 
this is for testing you can skip it if you are sure of your configuration you don't need to run this since it's gonna make it run in the foreground you won't be able to use the command line unless you stop this command from running if i'm not mistaken i don't know if they put other yeah so you can run the, that command keep it running here and then come here and run the next command if you want to keep it running in the foreground otherwise you can skip this command and go to the command that comes after it so the command is wps applicant dash i wlan zero uh dash zero uh, dash c slash etc slash wps applicant slash wpa supplicant.conf supplicant.conf like this successfully initialized set so connection to this one completed it's working i will cancel it we change that command you can go back to it by pressing the up arrow key and then come here instead of i you make it uh b or you add b and then since i changed my i to b it should become wpf supplicant dash big b dash or uppercase b dash lowercase i wlan zero or your lan or your wireless interface here when you run ip space a i showed you dash c and then the path to our wps.supplicate.conf file so we connected let's go to ipa we still need an ip address which can be done by running the command for uh, the dhcp client which we're gonna do now which is the u dhcpc dash i and then the interface in my case it's wlan zero okay so here you can see i have no ip address and then we run this command and then we check again we have our ip address let's ping to google this and yeah it's done it's working as you can see you can install applications like for example lsblk does not exist and the live media it's not pre-installed and there you go it's installed what else uh, nano doesn't exist let's install it and there you go okay i hope you were able to connect to your wireless network using uh, live alpine linux media correctly thank you for watching if you are interested in similar content you should know that it's coming up so much more is coming up in the future don't forget to subscribe to see more like share and comment and see you.